but uh, uh, recognizing that uh, the challenges facing uh, Dutchess County uh, as a whole uh, are not going to be confronted by a single human being nor a single political office. Uh, I recognize uh, certainly that each and every one of you in one capacity or another provides uh, invaluable leadership uh, and experience to the decision making and the, uh, uh, the policy making that uh, this county uh, has uh, engaged in over uh, its last several decades. And I, I assure you uh, first and foremost that uh, we are going to uh, rely on uh, all of you uh, to be a part of uh, how it is we confront uh, challenges moving forward. And I, I want to offer that, that that's not just in the area of economic development, that government at all levels is being, uh, I think, pressured uh, to provide a, uh, both a, a heightened level of service, but at a much uh, greater degree or with a much greater degree of efficiency. And it seems to us that uh, uh, government can't function uh, in a silo or in a vacuum. So. Uh, to the extent that uh, as uh, business leaders in your own right, community leaders in your own right, uh, you have both uh, insight, experience, and great ideas, and even some bad ideas, uh, Tom. We're, we welcome those as well. Uh, well, it makes me feel better when somebody suggests something. I can say, well, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> uh, but to the extent that uh, uh, we can, uh, I think, strengthen the already uh, great collaboration that exists, uh, to confront broad challenges facing the community well beyond just that which is uh, strictly economic, uh, I, I welcome that and I think there's a great opportunity for, uh, for dialogue and uh, more importantly for problem solving. But I w what I want you to understand and know is that I recognize and I believe having uh, crisscrossed Dutchess County uh, over the course of the last uh, eight or nine months that the single most uh, critical challenge facing uh, the people who call this county home uh, is ensuring that they have an opportunity, whether they be individuals seeking work, individuals working seeking to better themselves, individuals who are working multiple jobs in order to make uh, their way in the world, or small business owners, medium business sized business owners, uh, the large employers of our county trying to stay open, uh, trying to make payroll, uh, trying to ensure that uh, they access the prosperity, you access the prosperity that you seek, uh, or uh, farmers in this county that uh, just uh, can't uh, uh, make ends meet, uh, that we provide for them the leadership necessary uh, to, uh, to bring about opportunity. So that said, let me uh, back uh, up and just uh, acknowledge uh, first and foremost, uh, Paul, thank you uh, for your uh, leadership uh, here at the EDC. Um, and they uh, give me notes and it's actually kind of, <laughs> kind of funny because uh, I'm Italian. And, uh, you have a multisyllabic last name. I have it here spelled phonetically, just in case. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't worry about it. <laughs> if it doesn't have a vowel at the end, I don't have a clue. <laughs> I have a hard time with McQuaid. Thank God there's an E. <laughs> in all, I guess, uh, not for Italians. Uh, in, uh, <laughs> uh, in all seriousness, no, uh, though, thank you. Uh, you uh, have uh, led uh, uh, this organization through what is uh, clearly uh, been a very difficult, uh, difficult economic condition in the county, and we've done, uh, we've done well, and we've seen great success. So thank you for that, Tom. I'm looking forward to uh, poking fun at you over the course of the next year, uh, but uh, thank you, uh, thank you uh, uh, for all that you intend to do. And Ed, uh, thank you uh, for uh, for your work at uh, EMC. And I, I, I'm, I Paul, uh, uh, Mike Tomkovich is not here. Right? Uh, that's too, cold general, too cold for Mike. Yeah, I know he's uh, he's enjoying himself. He's not here on phone though, is he? Um, <laughs> he's out. <laughs> uh, I, I I mentioned all of you in the in the IDA, and of course I just uh, spoke uh, to the board members of the WIB, uh, not just to have uh, an opportunity to provide good humor, um, but um, because um, uh, I think uh, that each of uh, the institutions of our economic development uh, infrastructure in this county play an important role. Uh, and what I want uh, you to know is that uh, um, uh, I think there is a need to uh, slightly realign the way in which we confront economic challenges in this county, uh, but more importantly than that, to ensure that there is a seamless collaboration between the institutions that provide uh, economic uh, opportunity and development uh, decision making in this county. So what does that mean for us? Uh, what that means uh, for me is a focus on county government first and foremost. Uh, I think for too long government uh, has been the partner uh, and sometimes uh, the lesser partner uh, when it comes to uh, economic opportunity. And uh, I say that while Dutchess County has been an aggressive uh, 
uh, uh, partner in, in our efforts. Uh, there is a need internally uh, to realign county government and the institutions, uh, the economic apparatus, if you will, the assets within county government. Uh, I think there's a need that we realign them and we focus our attention on creating op growth opportunities. Uh, I think also that it demands that county government uh, provide uh, both uh, uh, leadership, but I say this to my friends in local government, having spent 12 years as one of them, uh, pressure uh, on the local decision makers to understand that uh, whether it is a single vote in a planning board uh, or it is the development of a comprehensive plan uh, or it's the institution of even policies that they believe are meant to provide economic uh, benefit, sometimes <laughs> their decision making um, has both uh, a profound uh, and many times uh, an indirect uh, uh, impact on economic growth and that uh, many policies are put in place to pr promote small businesses or to enhance farming that ultimately, uh, when, when applied, uh, provide roadblocks and obstacles uh, to economic growth. That doesn't mean that municipalities don't have an important role. In New York State, of course, they have the most important role. Uh, so it's going to demand, I think, that county government work hand in hand uh, with local government officials to understand that it's not um, uh, important, it is important, but it's not good enough uh, to create merely a vision for where it is you wish to take your community, although it would be nice if every community had a very clear vision for what they hope to be over uh, uh, the course of the, their future. Uh, but beyond that, to develop policies, zoning code, land use uh, language that very clearly articulates the rules and then that we engage in aggressive effort to move uh, projects of benefit to all of us through it. So uh, in order to make sure that county government is aligned, I think, in the appropriate uh, focus, uh, that means, by the way, uh, there are institutions uh, within the Department of Public Works, within the Department of Planning, within the Department of Health, and other uh, areas of county government that aren't always looked at from an economic perspective that need to understand that they have a role in creating jobs, uh, allowing businesses to create jobs and allowing small and medium-sized <coughs> businesses uh, to, to grow. Uh, so we are in the process of uh, assembling what we'll refer to as an economic development cabinet. As much as uh, cabinets are generally the people at the top uh, of uh, policy making, our economic development cabinet within county government will be the people on the front lines making those decisions. So the people who consider sanitary permits, the people who consider access to roads, the people who make decisions uh, that help move projects along in municipalities will be assembled around the table and they will be organized and coordinated uh, by a position that the county legislature on Monday night uh, created at our, re at our request. The Deputy Commissioner of Planning uh, for Economic uh, I should probably get the title right, <laughs> for, for strategic planning and economic development. Uh, it is not an effort, so you know, to take the important role that you do and make it an internal, um, uh, internally led effort in county government. Rather, it is to ensure that as economic development leaders countywide, you have a single point of access and we have a single coordinator uh, when it comes to the assets and institutions of county government, all focused on creating economic opportunity. Uh, and we announced yesterday, and I'm happy to introduce someone you probably know in one capacity uh, or another, the Deputy Commissioner for <laughs> Strategic Planning and Economic Development, Ron Hicks. Ron. <laughs> now, uh, Ron comes to us uh, via uh, uh, at, at great personal sacrifice, I might add. <laughs> comes to us uh, from Rockland County, uh, having uh, just uh, stepped down as their uh, Economic uh, Development Corporation. Uh, director uh, and, of course, has uh, extensive experience in the economic development work world, both at Rockland and prior uh, to that. But also, by the way, uh, uh, I think invaluable experience having worked within uh, Dutchess County government uh, and having uh, worked with uh, uh, and in state government under uh, then Governor George uh, Pataki. So I think he's a great addition. He will uh, be reporting to uh, our uh, terrific commissioner uh, of planning. I told her she's going to have to really work to keep him somewhat focused. <laughs> but, uh, uh, but for us, uh, Ron's responsibility is very, very clear. Uh, align and organize uh, the institutions of county government to focus on economic growth. Uh, because it seems to us uh, that we have uh, two major, uh, uh, two big options when it comes to managing county government and government at all levels. It's either we start cutting significantly, which by the way is, is, a, necess is a necessity. 
uh, living in a, a scenario where uh, unfunded mandates continue to rise, economic growth is slow, uh, resources and revenues to municipalities uh, scarce, uh, and uh, uh, a property tax cap uh, established by state government, we have to make difficult choices. Those choices can be made less difficult uh, and we can focus, I think, on providing critical government services efficiently and effectively, more efficiently and more effectively, uh, by ensuring that we uh, really focus on all opportunities to create growth. And by creating growth, we expand economic benefit, we ex expand uh, uh, our tax base and provide uh, the possibility for greater revenues and resources for all of you, uh, and for uh, a county government that's uh, stretched, certainly. So we're going to focus on those, uh, uh, those key principles, and uh, Ron has a critical uh, 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 role to play uh, in that regard. And beyond that, we'll work with, uh, with you as a public authority of this county uh, and all those other public uh, institutions that uh, affect economic opportunity, and we'll be working hand in hand uh, with municipalities. So let me uh, uh, stop there uh, and tell you uh, that I am not very good at keeping uh, quiet when it comes to great ideas, but I have been threatened by my uh, uh, staff that I should stop telling people what it is I intend to say at the State of the County Address, which is scheduled for February the 7th uh, <laughs> at uh, the Beacon High School at 5 p.m. Uh, so you should all come because we have some very exciting news that I'm not allowed to share with you at this moment. Uh, <laughs> uh, but, uh, but that said, um, I want you uh, to, uh, to know that we are going to engage very, very aggressively with each, each of you individually and each of you collectively uh, to ensure that we do everything in our power to establish where it is we want Dutchess County to go in the years ahead uh, and make very clear that if we're going to invest resources and if we're going to invest, invest the talent of county government to develop good policy, we need to have partners in government and in the private sector that help us effectuate that policy, all with the hope of ensuring that Dutchess County uh, leads the state in economic growth, uh, and uh, most importantly, and more importantly, I think, uh, prosperity for the people uh, who call uh, this county home. So with that, um, I'm looking forward to partnering with you. I want to acknowledge that uh, uh, the uh, Dutchess County Legislature has been in lockstep, uh, Republican and Democrats, uh, all uh, working together over the course of my first 25 days, hopefully the honeymoon continues, um, to uh, Rob is committed. He said, we're all in, uh, but uh, there are 24 others of him uh, that, I have to, uh, that I have to coordinate with as well. But our goal is very simple, uh, political fighting, uh, posturing and partisanship uh, is a waste of time, it's a waste of resources, and it doesn't get us anywhere. So we're going to focus very carefully and calmly and logically on uh, debating respectfully the issues facing this county, uh, but ensuring that regardless of party affiliation, regardless of background, regardless of length of residency, everyone who is earnest and honest and willing to serve uh, with a degree of diligence and professionalism in confronting problems, we'll have a seat at the table. And that county government isn't uh, going to look like some other layers of government that spend too, too much time being paralyzed by political infighting, but rather focus on delivering for the people who call this county home. And you are on the front lines of that, and I very much look forward to our partnership together. Thanks very much.